So the size of this, you can see, is almost the same height as Pixel Buds 2. The width wise, it's thinner, clearly. And the thickness, well, it's actually thinner than Pixel Buds 2, so that's pretty impressive. So when I thought about I should really get a GoPro recently, out of the blue, as if they knew, a company called Acaso contacted me asking whether I'll be interested to review their product called the Keychain. So um, just so you know, this is not available at, in the market at the moment. They are soon to make it available as a crowdfunding project on Indiegogo. And those who don't know who Acaso is, is that they are the main competitor of GoPro. So you can see if you type in Acaso on Google, you'll see a lot of comparison between GoPro and um, Acaso, and they seem to have a very good review. They got a brilliant website, so please do check it out. Um, for this product, to highlight, this is the ultra lightweight 4K vlog camera. So uh, they use, um, Acaso like to use the term slight tiss which means it's really compact and thin and very easy to carry, very discreet. Uh, so this comes with the I, so EIS 2.0, which I think is one of the up, most updated, 4K memory, 4K quality, and 30 uh, frames per second uh, video, 20 megapixel photo, which is really good, IP56 water resistance, 124 degree uh, FOV, 5 gigahertz of Wi-Fi and slow motion and time lapse as well. On the back side of the box, which is really interesting, is that you can actually attach it to your dog and you, you can know what your dog is up to for <laughs> one hour of movement. That's really good. Um, you can also attach it to your car, so I guess you could possibly use it for dash cam if you're going to drive for less than 60 minutes as well. It comes with all these accessories, but enough said, let's get into the unboxing. Let's get the wrap out. I think it's the moment of truth, right? It's slowly coming out. Tightly sealed. Wow, look at that. So that's the actual unit. It's tiny. It's... Wow. So it comes with this mount. I believe this should really come off. Yeah, it does. So it's really tiny. Um, very light. Well, it's a bit of a weight as well. It, it's a quality weight, I would say, if you know what I mean. And it, the lens itself is a good size. And, um, oh, actually, that's the USB, USB-C and the memory card slot there. And I believe that's the reset. Pretty straightforward. I think that's the mic. Um, and I will actually have to learn what this is, but I'm sure it's straightforward. So this is one of the mounts that you could use. Um, this mount, is it? <laughs> right, so several different mounts. I felt this magnetic click on it. So basically what it is, is this is a magnetic board. So you could literally just attach it to this. Very strong magne magnetic joint. And same time, this is magnetic as well, but it clips so you can actually attach it uh, to your backpack uh, strap as well. Same as this guy, quite cool. Um, and I guess it's just the same logic here as well. You just attach it, but this one actually does have its own mount capability, uh, but an extra magnetic um, joint. And this is pretty much if you want to use it like a mobile phone. That's the USB-C. And uh, lastly, just a quick start guide. Okay. So please do pause and have a look. All right, so I downloaded the app. So what you need to do is add camera and you can see loads of different cameras. So here it is, the keychain. Next. And um, what you need to do is turn on so you can see blue and amber flashing, you just press. So there's a slight vibration, yellow disappeared, you press it again. Oh yeah, there you go. 
so the amber light is flashing so i need to connect it with my uh, wi-fi connection apparently here it is the S so the password is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and connect it's connected keep wi-fi so it may not be okay it doesn't matter let's just connect it first all right so we got the video connected and look at that that is really good quality can you see me <laughs> so i had this um, 200 gigabyte uh, memory card inside my galaxy s20 ultra so what i'm going to do is put it inside here because i don't think you can actually record it um, without the memory card so that's all gone in so regards to 60 minutes of recording i understand it to be the battery capacity but you can always compensate that by using a portable charger this one here is a power arc uh, 15,000 milliamp charger that i could use so this should really last for a very long time regards to memory i put in a 200 gigabyte, gigabyte which is in reality about 187 gigabytes but regards to the settings which i need to show you if you look at here there's the you can actually change the resolution obviously from 4k all the way down to uh, the 2.7 180p which will be pretty good anyway for a standard 720p um, also the wind noise reduction you have the function here uh, the image stabilization feel light so the feel light function is basically if you press that i don't know whether you can see from the screen but the light is on around the lens here um, but you can turn it off um, auto rotate which is pretty clever uh, function auto shut down i guess after three minutes you can change it to a different time white balance distortion ca um, calibration uh, stamp date stamp so you can indicate what sort of time to find out when you record it format micro sd card if you want to reset factory if you want to clear the whole device remaining battery it says charging which is quite rightly so so the card capacity they're indicating is actually 182 gigabytes and the version is whatever you see here so just want to highlight that so that that could you can monitor the status of the device in case you're not sure how much of a battery you got left and how what the resolution and etc see that's a bit more sun and this is 4k So this is 1080p. So this is an indoor quality for 4K to see whether you could spot any difference i guess it's subject to the lightings and the uh, surroundings and etc so you can see me highlighted from the uh, sunlight but this is 4k so now we're going to test on the uh, 1080p all right so this is the 1080p um i guess it's not going to be as good as 4k but still i think this is pretty good quality i would say for 1080p so let's take some photos shall we So the quality of the product is really good even though it's light it has a bit of a weight and i'm sure there's a good reason behind it because of the batteries and all the components that goes inside again really compact and also um, i like the mounts and the magnetic joints are very professional feel and um, the material as well and you could actually use it like a this is like a keychain as actual the name of the keychain um, and very good um, well, actually this the other way around isn't it so that you can record it anytime you want also um, if you want to mount it to a certain surface you've got this um, flat mount and also the um, 
one that you can use it like a, a cam so you can also mount it on your car too, as well so the sticky side but anyway i hope this video give it a a very good insight of what this product is and i'm really excited to use this especially when i'm going to travel around the world when we can that is and uh, film beautiful cities city views and nature views and etc anyway um, any queries please do comment below uh, this is ljp tech thank you for watching this video all the best bye bye